Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my cancers for the week starting April 18, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggvtarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. Thank you for those who already subscribed. Welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for your like, your share, your private messages, uh, your comments, your Google+. Plus. It truly means a lot to me. And I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well. And now my cancers, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance, and I also shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have in a position of the past this week for you. So we have the King of Swords. Wow, very authoritative. Okay. The King of Swords is not too concerned about feelings and emotion. He's about having an understanding, get it, getting things done. He's very authoritative. Okay, so here your energy is really cutthroat, I would say that, okay, or maybe last week you you had to be a little bit more direct in your way of expressing yourself, authoritative, I mean, the sun is still in your 10th house, which is again, the highest house of the astrological belt, it represents career and reputation. Okay, so on a certain level, maybe you were giving some type of authority and uh, you have been using the authority to get an understanding or express yourself very, very clearly to others. Okay, but you know, the most important thing is, you know, the king of sword is all about law. Okay, so it's not just snapping at people. There's, you know, he's concerned about fairness. Okay, that's mainly his purposes. So I feel that this is a very strong energy and also he's looking ahead. So you'll, you'll probably keep that same type of um, behavior through the week. Okay, and so let's see what we have for you in the position of the near past. So we have here... The Ten of Pentacles, great energy, okay? So this, because it's a number 10, you know, it, there's a dominance here, and it dominance is about material gain, okay? Wealth. We know that uh, you have right now Taurus in your 11th house. I mean, Taurus is in Mercury, okay? Mercury is in Taurus, and Taurus is in your 11th house, okay? So you're thinking, you're thinking of ways of increasing your, your money, okay? And also you're thinking about your network. There's probably a team of people that you want to work with or your network group circle, okay? So it could be your family, okay? Or it could be you as a businessman or whatever it is. But the, the 11 house is also the house of group circle and network. Okay, so it's a very humanitarian house. But it comes with profit. So you may be thinking or you may be going forward in that direction. You wanting to increase your value. You wanting to make more money. Okay, you are, are planning or maybe you, there's uh, some type of strategy that you're want to get involved with others or it could be by yourself but it could be you know and you know it really is a general reading where you you will be able to generate more income it shows here that you will okay because again the king of swords it really is about clarity he's really intelligent he wants to have things done a certain way and he follows through so him looking at a ten of pentacles, let me know that there's a lot of ways for you that uh, will be available and shown to you clearly on how you can increase your money. And let's see what we have in a position of the future for you this week, my Cancers. So we have the two of swords. Okay, so this is the card of confusion. Okay, you see here the moon, which is the planet of cancers okay so it's about you not having the you know the clarity that is required to make the right decision okay or you're about to make a random decision or not having you know maybe there's so many people around you and then you're being very trust 
trust trusting of others okay and you know they may not be looking out for you or they may not be able to to give you exactly what you need you know this is a general example uh, with that, I could say that Mercury, which is a planet of that represents clarity and communication of mind, will be going retrograde okay, in your 11th house. So it's the same house of where you gain clarity, where you want to uh, increase your uh, value, make more money, profits. Okay, Now, you could be a little bit confused because Mercury is, is starting to go out of phase even if it's not retrograde it's definitely in its shadow phase so it's not going as at the same speed so there's some type of doubts in your mind right now okay that it's I mean it's in the future those doubts could come out later on this week but it'll come out so you may start doubting about your friends you may start doubting about your group circle in, at work, in your personal life, or things like that. There will be some type of doubts coming in, okay? But here it says, don't make some random decision, okay? If you don't have the clarity that you need, it's best that you just wait, okay? And so let's see what we have in a position of the outcome this week. The Hermit. And I guess that's what you will do. The Hermit is a major arcana, and having this in the outcome is very important. Okay, and I love this card. I call it the Guru card. And as you see, he's looking at the star here. So, you know, it's when you're looking, you're seeking for your inner guidance. You, you're following your own instinct. You're asking for the universe to show you. The clarity that you seek when you're unable to see it from people or you're getting conflicting messages then we go we go within okay the hermit yes it does represent a certain isolation okay as the hermit would say um, but also it's it really brings you a lot of wisdom okay it's 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 your own counsel when you seek your own guidance, like I said, to get the vision that you need. Okay, And this vision you could be also giving to the people that seek. Maybe you're, you know, in the 11th house, you could be the leader. And maybe people are coming in um, or, you know, knocking at your door with some type of different type of issues and you're trying to see how you could help them. Maybe that could... It could also represent that energy when you're using your experience in order to guide other people, okay? So it's a really positive card. I love this card. And, you know, I feel that, you, you know, I'll do the weeklies for the rest of April and May, but I feel that for the month of May, some of my cancer will need to lay low. Lay low and observe because a retrograde in 11th house in Taurus where we see our friends differently could have some type of impact on the future, okay? And sometimes things are not what they see. But I think you're, you're starting to feel a certain way about that already, okay? So I'm, go I'm gonna end this reading here for you, my Cancers. Let me know how this resonated with you. Leave me comments. Until next week, send you lots of kisses. I love you.